Let's say that you're on some type of a game show and you've been doing quite well and you're now at the round where you get to pick your fantabulous vacation. And so there are three possible places that you could go. You could go on an island beach vacation. Island. Island beach vacation. You could go skiing on a ski vacation. Or you could go camping. Now, those aren't the only possibilities because for each of those vacations, there's different amount of time that you could go on them. So you could go for one day. You could go for two days. Two days. Or you could go for three days. Three, then a different color. You could go for three days. You could go for three days. So the first question I'd want to know is, well, what is the, and it's going, they're going to randomly pick either you know, a, a one-day ski vacation or a two-day island vacation. But the first question I want to know is, what are all of the possible outcomes here? What is the sample space? What is the space from which we are going to pick your particular vacation package? Well, for the sample space, we can construct a grid, which you can see that I've essentially been constructing while I wrote down all of the possibilities. So let me draw out the sample space with these uneven looking grid lines. All right, I think you get the picture. All right, so you could go, and I'll just abbreviate it, you could go on a one day, a one day island. A one day island trip, this one eye, this is a one day island trip. You could go on a two day, two day. Actually, let me just write it this way. All of these are gonna be one day, right? Because on the one day column. All of these are going to be two days, two days, two days. And all of these are going to be three days, because it's on the three day column. And all of the ones in this row are going to be island trips. So it's a one day island trip, two day island trip, three day island trip. This second row, it's all ski trips. One day ski trip, two day ski trip, three day ski trip. And then finally, everything in this third row, they're camping trips. One day camping trip, two day camping trip, three day camping trip. So just like that, we have constructed the sample space right over here. You see that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine outcomes. And let's say that each of these outcomes are a little piece of paper and they put it in a barrel and they roll it up. And for our purposes, we can assume that they are all equally likely outcomes. So we're going to assume equally likely outcomes. So if we do assume equally likely outcomes, we can figure out a probability. Maybe you, 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 know, maybe you live in some place that's cold, and you're really not in the mood to go skiing. In fact, you'd like to spend several days away from the snow. So let's ask ourselves a question. What is the probability, what is the probability that you're going to win something at least, at least two days on a vacation without snow? Two days on vacation without without snow. You're going to randomly pick one of these nine outcomes. What's the probability that it's going to be at least, it's going to give you a vacation that gives you at least a vacation with two days without snow? Well, let's just think a little bit about it. We know the sample space, and we know each of the outcomes are equally likely. There are nine equally equal outcomes here. So let's write that down. We got nine equal outcomes. Now, how many of the sa outcomes satisfy this this event, this 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 constraint? At least two day two days of a vacation. Let me two day. Let me write this two days days without snow, whether it falls or touching it or whatever. So this is you're essentially avoiding skiing. You want at least two days on something other than skiing, and we're assuming you're not going to go camping in some type of alpine. You're camping in some place that's warm. Well, let's think about these outcomes. So this one is no snow, but it's only one day. This is two days without snow, so we can circle that one. This is three days without snow, so we can circle that one. All of these have snow. This is one day without snow, so we're not going to do this one. This is two days without snow, and this is three days without snow. And so four of the equally likely outcomes satisfy this constraint. So you have a four-ninths probability of getting a, getting a vacation that keeps you away from snow for at least two days. 
Hopefully you found that fun and useful for the next time that you are on some type of strange game show.